Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about questionnaire which comes under Unit 5 Tools and Methods of Data Collection. This is my part 3 video. This video will be useful for BSc Nursing, Post Basic BSc Nursing and students who are studying MSc Nursing. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the content what we are going to discuss in this video that is questionnaire as well as its types of questionnaires. So what is a questionnaire? A questionnaire is a structured instrument. So it is what? It is a structured instrument consisting of a series of questions prepared by researcher that a research subject is asked to complete to gather data from individuals about knowledge, attitude and feeling. So what is a questionnaire? It is a structured instrument which consists of a series of questions prepared by researcher that a research subject is asked to complete to gather data from individuals about knowledge, attitude and feeling. So it is what you are, the researcher is going to give a series of questions. So it is a structured instrument uh, prepared in such a way that when you are administering it to the subjects or participants, they will complete it and they will give it by using a pen or pencil. And in a paper, you are going to give this or you are going to self-administer to the subjects. And in order to assess knowledge, attitude and feeling, this is the very good method of data collection. Let's see the types of questionnaires. Open-ended questions, closed-ended questions. There are two types. What are they? Open-ended question and closed-ended question. Under closed-ended question, you have... So many types. What are those types? That is, you can remember by using this mnemonic RMDC2. R is for rank ordered question. M is for multiple choice question. C is, uh, D is for dichotomous question. C is for cafeteria question. Another C is for contingency question. So these are all the types which comes under closed ended questions. What are the types? Dichotomous questions, multiple choice questions, cafeteria questions, rank order questions and contingency questions. First we will see open ended questions. So open ended questions, they are questions which provides opportunity to the respondents to express their opinions and answers in their own way. So they are questions which provide opportunity to the respondents to express their opinions and answers in their own way. So you can give your opinion. So how much ever there is no limitation, how much ever you can uh, you want to write, you can write it. For example, explain, enumerate, explore it, such type of questions and all, no, if they are asking an exam. So, you can uh, clearly give whatever comes to your point of mind. So, example, state your opinion about the quality of healthcare services in Uttar Pradesh or uh, in uh, Maharashtra, like that and all, you can uh, tell. So, here, State your opinion of the quality of health services in Tamil Nadu, in Andhra Pradesh, in Kerala, like that. Uh, if you are asking, uh, then the person will be telling their own opinion about the healthcare services. Similarly, when you are asking, tell about yourself. Uh, that is also an example for open ended question. Next, to moving on to closed ended question. These questions offer respondents a number of alternative replies from which the subject must choose the one that most likely matches the appropriate answer. So here the questions of a respondents, a number of alternatives will be there. Only you have to select among those alternatives. You cannot tell your opinions as that of open-ended questions. So here only based on the alternatives, you have to choose your answers. Next is dichotomous question. This requires respondents to make a choice between Two responses such as yes or no. Die means two. So the response is yes or no. True or false. Like that only with this within these two options only. Either you have to select yes or you have to select no. Do you like coffee? Yes or no. If you like coffee, you will be ticking yes. If no means you will be ticking no. So true or false. Whether, uh, whether you live in uh, Andhra Pradesh. If it is a uh, 
yes you will be telling yes or if it is no you will be telling no true or false for example sun rises in the east whether it is true or false so you will be telling true like that multiple choice question these questions requires responders to make a choice between more than two responses here they will be giving three response four response five response like that so here uh, in multiple choice questions you have to be very careful because when you are choosing the alternatives uh, uh, more or less uh, the alternatives are going to be um, similar so in objective questions and all they will be giving so uh, one question is one one option is very apt the other two options no may be slightly related to each other and the another option will be totally unrelated so you will be having a dilemma whether which to select like that so multiple choice questions also you can ask then the cafeteria questions so here cafeteria questions they allow respondents to select a response that mostly corresponds to their viewpoint for example what do you think about hormone replacement therapy so what is their opinion about hormone replacement therapy so uh, whichever they are thinking you will be giving options okay but whichever uh, they are thinking as the appropriate option they will be ticking uh, they will be ticking that so it is dangerous it should be avoided hormone replacement therapy is dangerous so it should be avoided one should be cautious while using it i am uncertain about my views i am not sure what to say then i am it is beneficial it should be promoted so these are all the various viewpoints what viewpoint you are having towards hormone replacement therapy so uh, my viewpoint uh, i am telling that one should be cautious while using it okay so that is my viewpoint similarly different people will be having different view points next is rank ordered question so these questions ask respondents to rank their responses from most favorable to least favorable for example what according to you is most important in your life so uh, here they have given four options so for, um, for me the first option is uh, health second option is family third option is education fourth option is money for some people the first option itself can be money the second option can be family the third option can be education and the fourth option can be health so it varies from person to person according to your thing you have to mark it okay this is rank order questions contingency question a question is asked further only if the respondent gives a particular response to previous question are you stressed yes or no suppose if you are ticking the option yes if yes means why why you are stressed what makes you to be stressed okay for example whether you have received information about uh, hiv or aids yes or no if they are telling yes sir yes means from where you have received the information so like that uh, they will be giving the options so the guidelines is must be developed exactly in accordance with the study objectives so based on your study objectives your questionnaire should be framed it should begin with instructions for the respondents to provide responses so you have to give instructions general instructions see whenever you are answering your question paper also in the university questions above that there are basic instructions so like that you should have instruction then you should be concise precise and brief it should be concise precise and brief it should be accordance with respondents knowledge it should be according to the respondents knowledge it should be very clear as well as simple as far as possible avoid open ended questions because it is very difficult to um, calculate uh, difficult to give score to that open ended questions okay controversial and ambiguous questions should be avoided controversial issues don't ask it similarly ambiguous ambiguous means unclear okay clarity will not be there in the question like that of questions also you have to avoid it there should be logical sequence of the questions so there should be logical sequence of the questions logical sequence means suppose if you are asking on uh, diabetes mellitus first what is diabetes mellitus then incidence of diabetes mellitus uh, then you have to go for causes etiology of diabetes mellitus types uh, 
then the clinical manifestation based questions diagnostic evaluation based questions then uh, medical management nursing management uh, like that and all uh, home care management prevention that aspects and all you have to uh, give uh, so it should be in a sequence uh, one after another uh, first initial itself you should not ask complications so you should not uh, in the middle you should not ask treatment uh, and the in the last uh, question should not be what is diabetes mellitus like that uh, so questions should be from general to specific uh, so first you have to start for example if you are um, dealing with some communicable diseases okay so from generally you have to talk about communicable diseases then a particular topic you have taken now for example corona if you have taken then ab ab about that corona you have to come okay so for example uh, SARS what is SARS okay it's a general topic from there you can come to corona topic okay avoid negative and double questions the negative statements should be avoided as much as possible and double questions double meaning questions um, okay double blinded questions and all you have to avoid it so this will not give some clarity for the participants use positive statements I told avoid negative statements then you have to use positive statements advantages they are cost effective questioners are very cost effective easy to analyze or compute they require less time and energy to administer so for administering you need less time as well as energy they reduce bias they are used for larger sample sizes so they are cost effective they are e easier to analyze uh, then uh, they require less time and energy to administer and the bias will be reduced and they are used for larger sample size next moving on to disadvantages it is not suitable for all low response rate okay suppose if they are not uh, uh, giving the questionnaire back then again there is low response rate sometimes they can avoid some questions also whatever they don't know uh, it is not necessary that they should answer all the uh, full so you have to give instructions ask them to answer all the questions provide only superficial information because uh, only you have given the alternative so whether they have understood it or not that you may not be able to know it then chances of misinterpretation and people can lie and answer vaguely also unclearly or vaguely and they can uh, they, they may not always be truthful and give the correct information okay so these are all some of the disadvantages uh, hope this video has given you a detailed description about questionnaire method or instrument of data collection if you like my video please give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box suggested end card and i card or you can watch our channel playlist for more nursing related videos as well as for statistics we have created a separate playlist also you can watch that also so nursing research and statistics for bsc nursing students nursing research and statistics for msc nursing students as well as statistics separate playlist for nursing students students we have created hope this video gives a good content about questionnaire so which will be very much helpful in your data collection process when you are doing your thesis thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel